Welcome to the theme park that will 100% kill you if you visit it. This is our entrance. We have a nice, quaint little garden here. It's pretty warm. The weather's nice. People walking through like it quite a bit. And right through here is our park entrance. First off, everybody has to pray to our god, Knuckles. So like the park square. It's a little like nice area. We have a nice view of the roller coaster that kills everybody that decides to be walking through here at the wrong time. So we have a lot of phenomenal rides to ride in this park. This park is known for having some spectacular rides. When you enter, you can take a right or left. I think we should start off by taking a left. So here is our first ride over here. This is called Drowned by Fire. So this is a pretty cool ride. It was created by the Dark Lords who stand and guard the ride. Pretty much what happens is you get to ride on this nice little Aladdin themed carpet and you go back and forth. The center of the ride sets you on fire, but fortunately there's things that extinguish you on the sides, but then you get set on fire again and then you're re-extinguished. So pretty much it's just a loop. You get set on fire, you get put out, get set on fire again, you get put out. It's really revolutionary technology. And medieval torturists from a thousand years ago can't believe how far torture has come nowadays. So over here, we have another ride that was conjured up by the Dark Lords. If you come in here, you have a 99% chance of being electrocuted to death and then sucked away by this storm cloud. But you still have a 1% chance of living, so... Don't knock it till you try it, you know? So here's one of our first roller coasters. It's called Go to Hell. Why is it named that, you might ask? Well, let's just ride it and find out. So this roller coaster, it puts you through about 50 Gs, which isn't too much in my opinion. I mean, it will kill you, but it won't kill you that bad. So it starts off with a phenomenal boost. Then you get to go through 50 lateral Gs. And as soon as you get to the top, you will be dead and the coaster goes ahead and sends you to hell. Look, how, how kind of it. It didn't have to do that for you, but it did anyways. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at one of our other rides. Over here is our famous chairlift called See You Later Alligator. If you ride it, you just become a snack for all of our pet alligators. This theme park is known for having the largest alligator population in the whole entire country and they get really really large because when you eat a bunch of people that's just like bound to happen oh gosh the alligators are learning how to climb on poles again oh, it's kind of crazy how evolution works right oh dang this one's freaking wild and man if any theme park reviewers come to this park i humbly ask that you give this ride a very high rating because this is one of our highest rated rides in the park Oh, before we go and view the other side of the park, let's, let's see what happens with this from another angle. Fortunately, it stalls for a second, so if you're down on the ground, you can notice what's about to happen before the inevitable fate. Whee! Oh yeah, that is some good stuff, man. Ha <laughs> ha! As you can see, all of these guests just had the time of their lives. As soon as they stand up, they're just gonna start celebrating because they had so much fun. See, this is why you need to come to our park. It's just a splendid time altogether. Now let's deviate and take a right here and check out the other side of the park. So over here is one of the best roller coasters in the whole entire park. It is known as the Cursalisa. Let's go ahead and get it a first person view. Time to ride. One of my personal favorites. The Chryslisa is just, the design is pretty immaculate. It's crazy what type of technology we have nowadays. It has a pretty slow buildup, so you can truly take in the scenery. This ride actually won an award for best scenery in the park. All right, hold on to your seatbelts. <laughs> I 
I really hope you enjoyed your time on that ride. I really enjoyed building it. All right, so there's one main roller coaster left in the park that we haven't seen yet. But before we do that, I think we should get a first person view of the main attraction of the park. Put your hands up, everybody. Oh, that was delicious. All right, so the very last ride in the park is just leaving the station. This is a ride that has a limitation. You're only allowed to ride this ride if you are under the age of 12 years old because this ride is called the Logan Paul Experience. So in order to ride it, you have to be of the age demographic to watch Logan Paul videos. Let's go back a few seats and enjoy our time. This ride takes place in the beautiful country of Japan where we're going to be going through a quiet forest. Kids from all around the world have been dying to ride this roller coaster. Literally. And you guys just get to ride it virtually. You're so lucky. Right now we're in a Japanese forest. You might recognize the scene from a really popular YouTube video. Oh, what's that? Oh no. We've been demonetized. Well, I guess there's no point to live anymore. All right, and that is the end of our park tour. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to visit this park yourself, hit that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. Hey guys, this Planet Coaster video was made just for fun and shouldn't be taken too seriously, but I'm actually a huge fan of Planet Coaster. Over the past two years, I've been working on a single theme park that I've been putting way too much work into. I have a whole series about it called Let's Build the Ultimate Theme Park. If you want to see the process of that being built, click on the link in the description or on the in slate card. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.